Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with T-Game and Tech, and today I'm bringing you guys another video of iOS 6 on the iPad, and this video is going to be about the stock clock app that is now on the iPad. Try saying that like three times fast. Um, so I'm glad they finally included a clock app that is stock on the iPad. I don't really know why they didn't include it before. You had to go through a third-party app, um, but they finally included it. So today I'm just going to be doing an overview of it. Um, so if we just open it up, we see all these world clocks, and you can... Um, just look through them and swipe and you can add more so we'll just add let's see what do we want we want to add Albuquerque USA and it also shows the weather which is kind of nice um, they also don't include a weather app still but I really don't understand why because you know I use weather but I, I use the weather channel app anyway so it doesn't matter but they give you a little weather picture right here I mean can't really zoom in though but you can see you know at Albuquerque it is what 91 degrees it's hard to read when I'm like behind the camera. Um, but that's basically how that works. You can add more clocks if you want. Um, you can edit, you can delete clocks. So we're gonna delete this one because I'm not gonna say it. So delete that. You can also switch to Celsius. I don't know how to read Celsius. Well, you can read it, but I don't know how it actually works. Um, but if we go down to the bottom here, we have an alarm. As you can see, it schedules it throughout the week. So if I want to add an alarm, I just added once for 7:35 tomorrow, so we'll say I want to have one 4:35 a.m. repeat. I'm going to have it repeat every day, and if you have it repeat every day, this is when your alarm's going to go off. And you can scroll down, and you can see your other alarms. So that's kind of nice. They have kind of like a a weekly planner for your actual alarms. Stopwatch, this is kind of straightforward and pretty easy. Start, lap, stop. Nice and easy. I really like how it actually looks. It actually looks really nice just for like a stopwatch. Um, so you can just reset it. You can surely you can have as many laps as you want. Let's see how many laps we can run and how fast. I just ran 25 laps in 8 seconds. So you know you can have as many laps as you want. So we'll stop, reset it. And we can go to the timer. And the timer is pretty basic too. I'm um, not really much going on here. Set your timer for 14 hours and however many minutes. Start it, and you can see it counting down. Now, if we pause it, done. So you also see it says marimba down here. You can also just change that by going up to sounds. Let's just pick one. Sonar. That's annoying. But we can just click set, and then it says sonar at the bottom. So that's just been a very basic overview of the new clocks app in iOS 6. Um, I'm glad they finally included it. It's something that's been needed as a stock app. I don't know why they included it before, but I'm glad it's finally here on iOS 6 on the iPad. So if you guys like the way this app looks or if you think it's about time or if you use a separate clock app, let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to check me out on my social links below. And if you're interested in more tech and game related videos, feel free to subscribe up top. That would really mean a lot. And you get to see all these videos that I'm trying to pump out of stuff about technology and games. So once again, like always, thank you guys for watching my videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.